the two big things that I heard from junior doctors, um, one was around this claim about the weekend effect, um, that 11,000 people a year were being allowed to die because they weren't working properly. Now, those of us who are in the business know that junior doctors are there 24-7. As you were closely involved with the free mental papers and used the phrase yourself, that it would be rash and misleading to claim these deaths were avoidable, did you not feel that you could have advised the Secretary of State in, in how those figures were used and that clash? Because junior doctors, as you say, they're of different ages, are used to evidence-based medicine, they do read papers, and that caused a big loss of respect. Do you not think you could have had more influence in the way that so developed. the first thing is I was responsible for putting to the paper the rational misleading. You will also recall that about a year ago in July last year, I warned this committee that we needed to be very careful about what these figures meant, and I think I used the phrase before they were misused. Um, I think in many respects those figures gained a credence at a time that I was actually in Cyprus. Um, so it wasn't easy to intervene, and by then, if you like, the horse had bolted. So um, I think the real, yeah, these figures were misused by everybody on every side, and um, I, I think it's, it's really, frankly, not worth focusing on that now. You know, the, the issues of improving services at the weekend, I think, are agreed by all parties. Um, I think the issue of six, eleven thousand, or whatever number it is, is a kind of sideshow. 